Al, you know, one of the things we always run into is tackle. You right. know, guys want to know what, you know, we talked a lot about heads and what to throw, but, you know, you run through a lot of different fish here, and not everyone's got, can have every rod in the boat, you know, sure. available to them. So sure. if, if you had to pick one basic kind of setup for people to get started with, what, what would you what would you say? I think for the inshore guy, whether he's using monofilament or braid, he's going to go with something between 8 and 12 pound test. With 12 being the tops, because once you get into that size line, um, you find that it, the line just won't come off the reel the same. So that 10 pound is in between, and that's pretty much... If it's monofilament, I'm using 10 pound. Uh, if it's braid, it's the equivalent of uh, 10 pound. It's very thin. Mm -hmm. And you can get at least 200 yards of line, whether it be monofilament, braid, of course, you're going to get more. And you want 200 yards of line on an inshore fishing reel. Most people think, well, why? It's very shallow. How far can a fish run? Well, a tarpon, and you never know when you're going to hook one, uh, can easily take 200 yards in a flash. So having that 200 plus, if, if you can do that is, is so much better but as far as the the outfit itself a seven foot rod and, and I like them to be medium to light light medium to medium uh, I don't want something that weighs heavy in my hand so I'm going to go with graphite uh, I use uh, these Lexa 3000 and 4000 reels they're they're not real expensive they have great drag systems uh, they hold up well in salt water as long as you don't uh, stick them in the salt water but um, They'll handle any fish from the smallest to over 100 pounds. And I like it, I like my tackle to challenge my customers, myself. So I'm not going with the stiffest rod I can put on uh, a reel. I, I want to have a rod that is, is going to make that person uh, enjoy the fight, let it take a little while. You know, he's not going to crank it right through the guides. And that way he gets the most out of it. And it's going to be able to handle the majority of the fish that we catch and out here. What are you using for a rod now? Now this is a Key Largo rod. Uh, ironically, it's made in Alamorada, but uh, they make custom rods. They're economical. Uh, you can purchase them online, Key Largo rods, or you can purchase them right from the store. Uh, they, they make them from any different kind you want, from the, the, the lightest all the way up to big game stuff, fly rods. Um, very, very good quality very good quality.